Hello again, guys. Ruby here to talk to you about the XP Network Roadmap for 2024. Last week, we talked about a part of the XP Net Token Utility. This week, I want to talk to you about more how we broaden the, the spectrum right, of the XP Net Utility. I'm adding more utility to the, to the token. And I want to start talking about the, the, the decentralization of the XP Network Bridge, right? Why are we even doing this? Uh, what steps are we taking? Why is it even? Why should you even become decentralized? Right, being like we are running, we are currently running in a semi-centralized way. Right, it's been running wonderfully for almost three years. Right, we have been running without any issue. Everything is running fine. So why are we even doing this? Okay, let's dive right in. All right, guys, I want to cover the benefits of becoming decentralized, okay? So number one is more new users coming, right? There is more utility for the token, okay? You get more utility, more people are coming in, people want to stake, people want to become validators, okay? So you get new community members, new people running the nodes. Uh, so this is the number one priority. This is the number one priority of why to even become decentralized, right? You get more people to start using the token. This is our main priority this year to get more exponent utility. Number two, the code becomes open source, okay? Right now, our code is closed source since we are in a semi-decentralized way, okay? So when you become open source, you have, well, you have more eyes on the code. I mean, currently, the XP Network team is the best development team in the world, okay? I stand by this by this any day. We have the best blockchain developers in the world, right? So why do we even need more eyes? It's always better to get fresh eyes, you know, more people coming in, people with uh, with uh, with positive motives, right? They want to, to, to donate to, 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 to the code, right? They want to improve on it, they want to have, they want to fork it, right? People take it, they will take the code and they will work on their own use cases, solve new issues using our code, which will only improve the code and make it more stable and more secure. Number three, more XP net utility. Okay, this is our number one goal, guys, for this year. I hope you're following the theme, right? Previous video was on the XP net utility. This video is more XP net utility. This is what we are working on this year, getting more XP net utility, okay? You will have people coming in, buying the token, and staking it in order to become a validator, right? This is the security for, for the validation, right? You have a wall of money protecting the bridge. Now let's talk about why does it make the bridge better, okay? So in order to explain why it makes the bridge better, I'll talk to you about the architecture of this thing, okay? It's, it's an amazing thing. We've worked on it for a long time. There's a lot of brain power, you know, there's a lot of brain power put into this thing, okay? So currently, the way that we're working on is we have an off-chain signature for the for the bridge okay it fits our need because all of the validators are under under the same umbrella okay it's different members of the xp network team okay now what we are going to do now is the way that it will it will unfold when you want to become a validator or how a, a transaction will be signed is that the, valid the validators will sign on a blockchain, okay? They will reach consensus on a single blockchain, all of the validators, okay? When, you, when a new validator is joining, when a transaction is happening, they will need to reach a, a, a consensus on a blockchain, okay? They will all sign on the same blockchain and it's so simple and it's so great, right? Code needs to be simple at all times. It's what makes it secure, less, uh, less, openings less less logic less less lines okay less room for mistakes this is this is the number one uh this is the number one rule in the, in, the, in the team you must reach a minimum amount of lines for everything okay this is very important for us in a secure way okay so once the validators are reaching a consensus once there is a transfer of assets okay the validators will reach a consensus on a blockchain the user will take the signatures and you will use it in order to transfer the to claim the nft basically this will be the final step you will lock the nft validators will reach a consensus user takes the signatures and and claims the nft it makes it very simple very fast and very secure and also it's easy on the validators right you don't need to hold so many tokens like 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 it's something that we're doing now we're holding all of these tokens 
So we've gotten rid of it and we have, instead the user will claim the NFT. This is it for the update guys. Thank you for listening and join me next week.